Hello, my name is Latricia Renee. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to tell you just how important you are to this timeline. Today's magic words actually come from Chuck Tingle and Cameron Hurley on Twitter. I started following sci-fi author Cameron Hurley after reading her book of essays, The Geek Feminist Revolution. Quite some time ago, because this stuff takes a while and I'm kind of slow, <laughs> but some time ago, Chuck made a tweet telling everyone, you are infinitely important to this timeline in ways you cannot even begin to know. To which Cameron Hurley responded saying she wanted a t-shirt that said, I am infinitely important to this timeline. Thus, today's picture. Amazing opportunity for self-promotion aside, mostly because I'm slow and that boat has probably already sailed, but I really, really love this quote. I feel like it's a perfect fit for my concept for magic words. It's a memorable mantra that teaches a lesson as well as inspire and give a sense of wonder. Negative self-talk and low self-esteem are major issues in mental health, one that positive affirmations are specially geared towards changing. This quote is great because it speaks to the way we value or devalue ourselves. A lot of the time we base our self-worth on our ability to contribute to society. I mean, it does make sense. We are social creatures and our ability to help each other has been key to not only our survival, but progress. But when we struggle to meet society's expectations, or in some cases, the expectations we think others have for us, it can make us feel broken or worthless. But this is a reminder that just by existing in this world, we are important. And even the tiniest things make a big difference. Things like being a friend, or even just sharing our experiences. It's a ripple effect that can have such positive impact on the people and the world around us, beyond what we could ever imagine. I actually wanted to share with you guys some of my own experiences with this, but it's a little bit too painful for me to talk about. I think I probably will leave a comment below talking about it though. If any of you are also willing to share your own experiences, please do. It really does have the potential to help others as well as yourself. Uh, instead, let's move on to talking about the actual image. I knew right away that I wanted to go for this sort of alien space babe that was reminiscent of classic sci-fi covers. So I wanted to give her a sort of action-y pose. It's kind of like she's just leaping away, firing lasers. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the story is behind it, but it looks pretty cool. I tried to also go for that kind of feel with the colors and shading. I'm not quite sure if I pulled it off or not. It actually makes me think of Futurama a lot. I feel like I've seen Futurama do a similar kind of color and shading. And then of course the fact that she is a cyclops reminds me of Leela a bit. I wonder if I was kind of inspired by that without knowing it. <laughs> Here you see me adding a phrase to her clothing. Heart Punk is actually another thing that I saw going around on Twitter. The original tweet was by Nath Kai. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that, but I will be leaving links to everybody's Twitter that I mentioned in the description below. But the original tweet, uh, he was talking about using the term heart punk to describe the way that magical girls use the power of their feelings to take down systems and I was really inspired by that. I feel like it fits really well with the image and also just sort of the general message that I want to have about the power of emotional intelligence. The colors were the most difficult thing for me with this piece. I knew I wanted to do bright peaches and pinks with maybe some purple and green. I wanted it to be overall very colorful and cheery, but also kind of strange and, well, alien. I did sample colors from palettes and images online, which was a big help, but the real difficulty came when trying to figure out where to put the colors. So you'll see me go back and forth and change things a lot 
through this image, um, as well as I have like multiple versions that I switch between a lot. The alien skin tone actually was probably the hardest part. I originally wanted a very unnatural skin tone, but nothing really felt right with the rest of the colors. But even up to the very end, I was still trying to cling to this idea of a bright, obviously alien skin tone. But after I finished recording it, my husband actually suggested that it would look better with a medium-ish brown. And he was right. Uh, it definitely turned out a lot better. There were so many computing colors that I just really needed a nice neutral. I did make it a bit pinkish though, uh, so that it would be more cohesive with the overall image. So that's about it for now. I guess I'll go ahead and leave you guys with the music for a bit and I will see you again closer to the end.
I really hope you've enjoyed this video so far. If so, you can subscribe and ring my bell for more. I don't think liking does much for the YouTube algorithm, but it is a quick and easy way to let me know what you think of my video. Again, if you're interested at all in sharing your personal experiences in the comment section below, I know I will be sure to listen and you never know, it might help someone else as well. Either way, I will see you guys next time.